Good morning everyone and welcome back to the Two-Headed World Gaming Channel as we're continuing our road for the first time through the Darkest Dungeon 2. We're on our way to the mountain. We've had a fairly decent run so far. I believe that this one we were very lucky with how the rolls went and how the battles went. And we'll have to see what we do in the future but for now let's just get going with the coach. I am thinking of going like this way towards the oasis. We're, I'm not sure. It sounds like we would. Sanctum of tranquility awaits. It sounds like we would get some stress relief by going on this path. So that's why I took it. I am not sure. And for the first time, we're fighting cultists. Flaming lasso. This is burned and we have now, we have been blinded as well. Immortalist, Sacrificial, Player and Weeper. It's the first time I'm fighting them so I don't know exactly what to expect. But I feel like we should turn, return the favor. Unfortunately it didn't happen. In addition to HP, hero also have stress. Heroes begin the expedition at zero stress, but gain stress through a wide variety of game events. Stress can be lowered at the inn. Is there anything else? High stress. As stress mounts, a hero will become more irritated, and this increases the chance of negative affinity changes with other heroes. Try to keep stress low in order to promote a harmonious party. If a hero's stress bar fills up completely, the hero will suffer a meltdown. Meltdowns have several undesirable effects, the hero suffers immediate affinity loss with all other heroes, and then the hero also drops to low HP. Okay. You are at 5 stress. If you are 5 plus stress, we can... Okay, so we can do a few things here and there. Let's try to take some of them out. First of all, immobilize. So that is what that bit is. The flame spreads. What does that mean? I could attack the two in front just to somehow reduce some of their attacks or go for the persons in the back or the monsters or whatever they might be. Okay, one down. So far so good. Let's try to daze him maybe? Or let's see, let's see if, we, if this removes stress. Yes, it does. So it's at 5 pips is enough to remove stress. I'm not sure exactly what he's preparing, but I'm starting to feel like he, sacrificial, sounds like he's gonna blow up if we don't kill him. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't get it earlier, but I'm starting to be slightly afraid of what might be happening if he reaches the front lines. Slow dissection, an unavoidable end. He's moving towards the front. We need to take him out. Well done, this was. Okay, we really need to take this guy out. He also has a buff there. Funeral pile. Oh, okay. Oof. Knock him back, maybe. No, let's let's just go for pure damage over here. 
he has free life and he's blighted so I believe that he's gonna be out but we could do that as well also okay we're out of the woods with this battle from what I can tell which makes me very happy at death's door they became weak here thing in this game like the road battles you have five rounds to win it if you don't win it you just move on so basically the battle is over and you don't get any kind of rewards for it Excellent work. perfect we are the flame Burning brightly for all the world to see. Knowledge and tales saved from the Flaves Erasure. Currency. Okay. So I'm guessing that's the sign of a different currency. Holy water. I feel like we've gained plenty of mastery points that we might be able to use on our next stop. We are now... We are over encumbered. We have too many items in our... Storage, so we need to throw something away. I don't think I will be keeping the food. Though, if I go and add food barrels, it says that these ones will stack. But I don't think I will. Let's discard these. We gain two hope. That's pretty good. Let's discard some of the food. I'm not sure I'm doing the right thing. Speed bag, 5% chance that we would yet dodge till the next in. We'll stop it there. Let's continue our journey. Towards the oasis and then who knows what else is there. A refreshing commune unburdens the mind. Lose 5 stress, gain 5 flame, once again 5 flame, lose 5 stress, we could get some supplies, or we could get everything, let's see. Aspiration unites the hopeful. So they are friends. In crisis, no gain is insignificant. Only the chosen character gets the loss in stress. Mineral rich spring water, minus 3 to stress and heals 10 HP. It's a combat item. Okay. Let's take a look at things. The relation. So they are friendly over here, and because it reached the max in their relation, they are hopeful. So I'm guessing we are getting some buffs during battle, maybe? Blood release, minus 5% to crit. Not the worst for the Plague Doctor, to be honest. Brigands, enriching themselves as the world collapses. And we have a dog. Flame sputters. A few more you things must here and there. Hope to get it. Let's attack this guy. We definitely need to take someone out, so that's what we're going to do here. And the blight in front, and there we go. Dissection. So he might be dead. An unavoidable end. Perfect. 
perfect. Hmm, that was a bad hit there. Let's throw some daggers here. I really have to pay attention to the repost a bit. Because I keep missing it. Let's see. I'll try to blind the enemies in the back and we managed to do so. taken out the watchdog. Okay, one enemy left. This one should that one should have been mine. And they lost a peep in that relationship. Okay. We could use bolster on her. And we might just try to do that. I can heal quite a few of them. Let's throw in a battlefield medicine on her. And I am going to do bolster here just to reduce one stress. Good. That will reduce the chances that we would get negative events. Like those conversations that to lose relationship. Abandoned or forgotten, it is ours now. Can I use any kind of items here? Like if I would want to throw... No, combat items, in items, trinkets, so... Can't really use things along the road. strong enough to shoulder more than your share of the burden. Once again we get desperate few and there's a chance we get mixed loot. I'm not gonna spend any more relics, I would like to spend it at the inn. Let's improve our relationship over here with the rest Scavenge of the people who agree. And be off once more. Once again, we have to throw some stuff off the co coach. I'm gonna throw this. Good. I think I might just replace this with bandages. Layer, high risk and reward for two unknown events. We're Oblivion Rampart, cultist encounter, the inner weights beyond this barrier. So I'm not sure exactly what that battle is. We're gonna go to the left. When deliberation is exhausted, trust your instincts. Hero Shrine, continue a hero's story. Confronting the past, we learn to face the future. So a shrine reflection, that is something where in the beginning like it would unlock this, I believe. 
we saw at the beginning of the game. And we have to choose a character. My ambition of outflanked my fellow officers at Suarez and mock skirmishes, walls will never hold me, tradition drove us into each other's arms, or estates rather, the jeers, the whisper, they push me deep into my studies. I don't know, let's put this one, since he's our most damaged demon link character. Highwayman, chapter one, freedom. Are we gonna see the, their stories? Is this like a way to discover their past? A prison riot. A fleeting chance to escape incarceration. Ooh. Defeat the guards to escape. Stone missiles removes something. In, removes inhaling, ready to sound an unavoidable alarm. Okay, and it also gives us 25 dodge. No, two, two dodges. Or we could push ourselves forward and do an attack there. This is really a cool thing. I've, I've never seen this. I mean, in the half hour I've seen of playthroughs, I have never seen this. So this is quite a cool way to learn about the characters. Because we're in the back, we're gonna be able to throw a rock. And we can advance here. Can we fail? I'm, I'm sure we can fail this. It would be impossible not to. can't reach the guy in the back anymore. I'm not sure exactly what will happen when the alarm sounds, but... We'll have to work it out. Free stress. Ah. I can see now how we might be losing this fight. Nice. So that's more, three more pips. If we reach max stress, then we lose some of the health. Dodging is not the best choice here, right? Because we get the dodge, like we can't throw a rock in the back. Nice. And I'm hoping that the stress does not go back into our real life. I would guess mm, not, or would present times, fugitive, not real life. Man, but a free one nonetheless. We gained plus one to mastery and we gained or unlocked a skill, point blank shot. That, that is cool. That is a really cool way to learn skills and also learn about their stories.
It didn't unlock anything here. But it gave us the skill. And we have limited slots, apparently. Hmm. I believe I'm gonna take... Remove the take aim and put blank shot. This is a skill that was in the first game as well. It, we can use our duelist advance to go on the front line, and then we can use point black bang blank shot to go in the back line while also knocking the target into the second line. Put a combo point on him apparently. And there's a huge damage there, like you can see it's double the damage of most of our skills. The problem is... Point blank shot skill provides us with repo... No, this works great with it. We don't get any debuff in the second line, we get debuffs in the third or fourth lines. Okay. Well, let's go forward. We're one fight away from reaching the inn. And they're getting along. But if all was for nothing and you gain some stress. Oblivion's Rampart. Are we getting a boss battle here? No. But what are these? Enfibling Miasma. Altar of Denial. At the start of the round, there's a 33% that they gain something and they gain a lot of healing, so that guy has to go. These guys hit the first two lines. Well, what do we do here? I'm probably gonna work on trying to push her back. They all have dodges. But we're gonna try this. Nice. And we moved her back. That means that we could reach him. We could work on tracking shot to remove the, their dodge there. Or we could continue attacking her. Let's do that. Miscalculation, perhaps. Very unfortunate. Let's use blinding gas over here. I am not sure that he the last enemy is attacking. Suffering begins. I'm gonna use flashing daggers mostly to remove his dodge here. Stealth. Oh, so this is stealth. Cannot be directly targeted by most enemies. Some of these attacks are really something else. I could use Bolster and it might be a really good idea to do so. To reduce their stress. And get some block. On this side, I'm gonna try to crit him. And we've managed to do so. Point blank shot on him or her. Mm. Man, that's good. But I would need to throw in some battlefield medicine here or put on a blight. 
What would be the best choice? Seven blade. Seven blade is a lot. We need to do this. At least has been tended to. Okay. On this side, we're gonna try to take them out. Hmm. Do not heal it. I really need to take him out. Okay, good. One enemy down. Blinding shot on these guys in the back or... I should just put on a blight here. Perfect. Next skill has a 100% chance to crit and ignores 20% resistance. Okay. First of all, let's... Let's not knock it back. Let's try to take it out instead. I'm gonna use a point blank shot here. Maybe this will be enough to take it out. Hopeful. Oh, we got heal there. That's really cool. Will the Blight take this enemy out? Nice! Okay. We don't have to fear the crit anymore. We're gonna remove the bleed here. Probably. Or... Yes, this will not cause any damage, so attacking the Cherub doesn't seem like the right way to go. Let's heal our men at arms. This wound at least has been tended to. Blind, okay. Let's use some bolster here. Reduce the stress from us and from our grave robber. Now we can attack the lines in the back. It reduced some stress, so I guess it's really good for them to have a good relationship. We're getting plenty of buffs from being hopeful. Line the black back lines, let's see. Now they're getting more in front of us. Seems like they, they can still do a lot. This battle is ours. I, I, I do not fear it anymore. Not great, but it's not bad either. They're using plenty of heals. One left. And that is it. Forward and effective. So we've got a lot of items over here. Proceed to the next battle. Looted. Oh, so we gain real relics, chart books, pouch of lie, and anti-venom. And we move to the next battle which will offer us relics, protectorate, 15% healing given and minus 15% damage, misstep, and forget 
collectible trinket. If Dark Impulse is equipped, plus 75% max health, but minus 50% damage. That is an interesting relic or trinket. But we have a second battle. And here I thought that we would be done with. I'm happy that it went so well the last battle, I guess. Melee skills minus 50% damage taken. Exalting unspeakable cosmic forces. We re okay, it's starting to... Starting to feel a little a bit more dangerous here. Let's work on blinding them first and we managed to do so. We really need to probably kill the guy in the back. We sh I should probably bolster them but not yet. Let's throw in some damage, maybe? Mm. Let's throw in some damage. Can I use Dualist Advance? I can. That is good. We're gonna do that. It doesn't move us to the front, but we're still getting the buffs. I'm gonna attack the enemy in the back. I'm not sure exalting unspeakable cosmic forces what that means, but we really need to take out its regen. Could I knock it back? There's a very low chance that we'll be able to do that. Let's use Bolster here. Get a block. With a bit of hope, it's going to add up to us. I am going to heal our Highwayman. We really need to dish out some damage. Thundering steel. Well, the blinding worked. I'm gonna do some pistol shots. Really work on the guy in behind. Okay, we're getting there. Slowly but surely. Nice. So we manage worship, he gained some healing there. It doesn't matter. I believe that we could take it out right now. Should I work on blinding it? Maybe. Battlefield medicine would be good too, but let's try to poison this one. Awesome. Okay. One down. So it can worship it, which adds some of these buffs. I'm not sure exactly what all of them do, but. Ooh. Ouch. That changed the game. So who's next? She's next. Try to knock it out. Defend. Let's defend this mush. It 
is unfortunate here, but we had to take it on us. Okay. What are we going to do next? Let's try to take the guy in front well out. And I'm hoping he will not summon anyone new. Eight bleed. Point blank shot. Let's remove the bleed from our men at arms. That that is good. That was a good move right there for us. And another pit to the face to this enemy, and we're gonna work on taking it out. And we managed to do so. So all that is left is the boss behind. Which is not necessarily easy to do. Let's Let's remove his dodge. Okay. Now... We're gonna let them reach Death's door and then use Battlefield Medicine. Maybe. I'm gonna try to blind it. Awesome. So with that, we managed to live one more turn, I guess. Excellent work. Once again, teetering on that terrible precipice. Hopefully we can, yeah, we can heal him before anything else happens. I could use bolster to reduce stress, but at the moment we just need to dish out a lot of damage here. Battlefield medicine once again. Okay. Let's see. I will use bolster since we do have a chance. Excellent work. Seven, seven more damage. I'll throw in a Blight. And let's see, Slash. Come on, fingers crossed that the Blight takes him up. That's it! That was fairly stressful to be honest, but we've gained some really cool relics. Do we have by chance Dark Impulse? The loathing abates. We need to throw some stuff away, we'll just do that. What else? I do not like this relic, so we're gonna throw that away. That's it. Whew. <laughs> I am so happy. Like, first run, and we managed to go for this. I mean, it's, it's unexpected, to be honest. But this is... Oh, look at that. The mountain looks great. The place is a little worse for wear, but familiar nonetheless. So we are at three, the loading holes. I'm, I'm guessing this is the third part of our journey. Plus 25 flame drain from here on out and plus 20% enemy battle advantage chance. We gained the plus one to mastery and everything else, but 
We'll go through this during the next episode. For now, I hope you have enjoyed it and I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. Until then, I wish you all to have a wonderful day.